Hello, and welcome to the Junk Monk Podcast. I'm your host, Candace Sloan, who you know from Instagram at Hardens and Hard Huts. And I'm Noah, your co-host, who you know from right now. So welcome to the inaugural episode of this podcast. If this is your first time listening, let us fill you in. So we are actually picking up where the Drunk Monk Podcast left off, hosted by Keiko Agena and Will S. Choi. I was a big fan of their podcast and was really sad to see that they had stopped the show, so I decided to pick up, and I managed to find me a co-host. So, here's our gimmick. Will and Keiko did their own show, a little drunk, and we're going to do our show with a little junk. So, I've got my junk food here, which is some birthday cake soda. That's a very interesting choice of soda. It's birthday good. cake, I don't think I've ever heard of that one. It's good. Um, and I have my gluten-free, off-brand, America's favorite cookie, Oreo here. <laughs> I uh, might do some crunching, so just, you know, don't mind me. And also, so that you know, I have seen every episode of Monk, and I'm a huge fan, and I started watching it in about 2007, so for the most part, I watched it as it actually aired. I've seen some episodes, but basically just the pilot episode and this episode, and a few scattered here and there in different seasons. So since I've seen every episode, I will periodically be doing season one through three recaps, but then Noah will join me for the regular episodes as we continue throughout the series. So our podcast will like kind of pay homage to the Drunk Monk podcast quite a bit, but we'll have a lot of original stuff too. Yeah, you probably won't hear a ton of improv stuff, but we do have one OG from Drunk Monk, and you will not believe who we have in the studio with us. All the way from Los Angeles, California, we have none other than Toby. 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 Come on. Toby, he's, Toby's shy. He's shy. Yeah, yeah. he's really shy. You know, uh, well, anyways, I think that's a perfect transition into the start of the show. Toby, take it away. Play the wrong one. <laughs> Toby! <laughs> oh, gosh. This could be cut, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here's, Here's what, what happened. happened. Okay, so this is season four, episode six of the series entitled Mr. Monk and Mrs. Monk. In the opening scene, we see Natalie out doing errands for Mr. Monk. While in a diner, she sees a man meeting a woman who looks very similar to Monk's late wife, Trudy. Well, at the same time, we see Monk in his therapist's office, Dr. Kroger, and he's talking about how he thinks he may finally be happy and how he thinks Trudy may want him to let go. So for most of the episode, we and the main four in the cast have no clue whether this woman is in fact Trudy Monk or not. The man we see meeting Trudy, Zach Ellinghouse, is the first victim of the episode, and we see Trudy accidentally murder him to gain access to a key. Trudy says the key is to retrieve some papers that belong to her, but uh, she couldn't retrieve them from the man's daughter, Janice, because Trudy had to fake her own death to protect her and Adrian from an extremist group. We, as the audience, discover that Trudy is an actress hired to retrieve this key for a Jack Bollinger. Bollinger was afraid that he would be discovered in Janice's papers as the leak to a big story that Trudy and Janice had written uh, when they were both alive. The key was to a storage locker where we see the sad second death of Trudy as she dies in Monk's arms after Bollinger shoots her after some ricochet fire with the police. Bollinger is apprehended in the storage unit and the closing scene we see Monk back to his old OCD ways missing Trudy all over again. Yep. So what did you like about this episode? Oh, okay. Don't even get me started on the monk scene with the therapist right mm -hmm. whenever like they kind of switch roles i loved that scene that made me die laughing okay you're talking about scene. the first part where um essentially monk is he's telling dr kroger that he's had a breakthrough yeah and then dr kroger starts to cry yeah. is that what you're talking about because yes. i have that in my notes and too then, and then monk's kind of comforting him it's I, I, it I'm gives really him a like tissue <laughs> But are you okay? Yeah. I just, you know, you work so hard, so hard and long for these moments like this, and you, and then Monk gives him the tissue, and then Dr. Kroger says, "Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable," and he's like, "Yeah, everything makes me uncomfortable," or something <laughs> like that. It's so funny. 
I also, here's a little pun, reverse psychology. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you, what do you, what do you mean? What are you talking about? No, it's like, like the scene. But the, never mind. Okay, never okay, mind. all right. Really that, <laughs> that joke either went over my head or, it, okay. Like, all right, I'll move on. Like, okay. <laughs> so I liked when the, when the captain and monk are at the barbecue and they're standing next to each other oh, making the burgers. Yes. And then Stottlemyre gets up the courage to tell Monk how much he appreciates him <laughs> and how he's the greatest detective that he's ever worked with. And then Monk walks off, unbeknownst to Stottlemyre, and Randy <laughs> Disher walks up behind him. And Stottlemyre is just going to town about how great he is, how he's the man. <laughs> and then Disher's like, Thanks, I feel the same way about you. Yeah. And then Stottlemyre's like, oh, <laughs> crap. And then Disher's like, I love you, sir. <laughs> and so he's like, I love you too, Randy. <laughs> and then they carry out that through the rest of the the episode of, uh, of Randy being... That's that's not one of my favorite things, just because how, how dumb Randy is. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, I did love the I love you part. That was good. Uh, I also just... It was nice seeing Happy Monk. Because in the, mm-hmm. like, few other episodes I've seen, Monk's always, like, freaking out about everything. And him, like, whenever he was cooking with that guy in that one scene, with the vegetables, and he's like... Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That scene? Oh, that was his neighbor. His neighbor, uh, yeah. Kevin Dorfman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they're getting ready for, like, a block party or whatever. Mm-hmm. It, I, it, I thought it was really nice seeing Happy Monk. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. Um, one thing, one main thing that I liked and that it goes into the whole episode as a whole, right? Is Tony Shalhoub, who's Adrian Monk, obviously, mm-hmm. and then Stanley Camel, who plays Dr. Kroger. Both of their acting in this episode is beyond. It is beyond. All of Monk's breakdowns in the show, he, I mean, he has like, men, not uh, kind of mental breakdowns. Well, he thinks his wife's come back from the dead. So he, yeah. you know, he has a past. But every single scene where he has to break down or particularly the one with Dr. Kroger where they where Dr. Kroger comes to console him Mm -hmm. and Monk can't even, you know, hold a cup. Yeah. And Dr. Kroger's like, you know, you have to take a drink. Yeah. So he hands him the cup and he makes him drink from the cup. And part of that, that acting was really, really good. And Tony Shalhoub is just he's amazing all the time. But this is acting in this. It was was probably my actual favorite thing of the whole entire episode. Yeah, I, I put that down too. Whenever he was explaining, like, the truth, the girl was, was explaining to Monk that uh, the whole, like, I'm not your wife. Right? Okay. I, I just, I really liked the acting in that scene. Mm-hmm. Was that the storage unit? It was in the storage unit, I think. Yeah, she yeah. She was like, she's like, I'm not your She's like, I'm sorry, she's I didn't like know. Dying. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know this was a. It's just a job. I'm so sorry. I really like that. Yeah, that was a, that was a good one as well. Mm-hmm. I liked. Uh, this is a little funnier because this episode's kind of dark in my opinion. Yeah, but a little funnier thing is um, a Natalie scheme. I love little schemes that. Um, I, oh, yeah, I, I yeah, think yeah, Sharona yeah. does them a lot at the beginning, but you know, now it's Natalie's job to do the little schemes, mm-hmm. and um, she's like, "Oh, I got the I got the storage unit number." And he's like, how did you do that? The security guard just let you look at the list? Oh, yeah. And she was like, yeah. no, I, was, I, I looked at the list when he was bending over. <laughs> Why was he bending over? I'm like, oh, my gosh, I lost my earring. It was a gift from my Aunt Lisa on her deathbed. I think I dropped it over there. <laughs> I love that. I love, that. I love the Natalie <laughs> schemes. They're so good. Uh, do you have is, anything else? I have nothing else. You have nothing That's else? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, actually, I, I have some quotes. Okay. Right? I like when he, his little, like, I'm gonna let it go. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. And he, like, breathes in, and he, breathe out. He does that several times. Yep. Yeah, he does that with the potatoes. Yeah. When he goes to put the, he's like, the old monk, for the record, this potato was uneven. Yeah. The old monk would have obsessed about it, but the new monk is gonna let it go. <laughs> and then he drops the potatoes <laughs> into the thing, and then him and Kevin start messing with them while they're in there to make them even. I love that. That was good. And then, I, for, I have no idea what this is around, but it says, if this is true, then nothing is true. Oh, that's when Dr. Kroger is consoling Monk. And after he makes him drink the cup of water, oh. it's so sad. Do you remember now? He's like, I don't if know. This is true. Yeah. Like Trudy being alive. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, this yeah. is true, then nothing is true. 
Mm-hmm. If this is true, then nothing is true. It is, oh my gosh, that is, ugh, this episode, y'all. This oh, is so, oh, oh, quote, air quotes, Trudy. Okay. Is death scene? Uh, he's like, I love Trudy or whatever. She's like, yeah. I'll tell her. And then she dies. Yeah. <laughs> It got me. Oh my gosh, it's the best and the worst. Oh my gosh, this whole episode was like that. Was, You're like, was, oh man, but why? I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Randy, when he said, um, Lieutenant Disher, whenever he says, just hard to tell who you're talking to. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this was after Captain Sottlemyre said, okay, Randy, enough is enough. Yeah. I wasn't talking to you, <laughs> I was talking to Monk. And then, and then, so Randy's like, Okay, fine. And then a few <laughs> scenes later, Randy, let's go. <laughs> it's like, just, just hard to tell you're talking to. Her. <laughs> oh my gosh, those two are I too much. <laughs> okay, so I love my one of my favorite scenes in the whole thing is where mm-hmm. Monk goes to see Trudy's grave, yeah. and that's a really touching scene because you can tell. That that's when he figures out that he knows it's not her. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that yeah, yeah. the you know that the. The lady like that that's scene. alive is not Trudy. Yeah. And then, he, you know, you you have that really sad moment. And then he walks over and sees another uh, another person there, a lady grieving her husband who has yeah. passed and who's obviously buried in the cemetery. Mm-hmm. And then he, <laughs> he, walks, he walks up to her and he says, yeah, my wife's buried here. She's dead. Your husband, he's dead too. <laughs> All of these people here, probably dead. <laughs> this is a good cemetery. They know what they're doing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the absolute. I, I best. love that. That was that was hilarious. Um, I was literally just about to say that. I just remembered. I didn't write that down, but I remember that. Um, so is that it? Is that all you? Yeah, have? I, I yeah I I I also liked Happy Monk. That's the last thing that I have written down was I liked Happy Monk. But then that kind of transitions for me into what I didn't like uh-huh. about it, which is I liked Happy Monk, but then they just rip it right away. Yeah. You, doc, I mean, I think Dr. Kroger was really justified in crying mm-hmm. because after like four seasons that we've been watching the show, we also haven't seen Monk progress in his mental illness yeah. Yeah. that he has, right? So you obviously it's the premise of the show that he is obsessive compulsive that mm-hmm. he, that helps him solve the they cases can't just and everything cure that exactly in a day. well they can't in, cure it in, in a day episode. but also they can't get rid of that premise or yeah. else yeah. he wouldn't be able, you know what i mean yeah so um That's all what monk is about which well, actually with that being said now that i said it out loud whenever he was with trudy he didn't have as much of those problems yeah yet they mentioned in a previous episode that he was still good yeah exactly i, so I don't know if can. he's like psycho good like if yeah you know, like he is that's now. true but i mean yeah. they said he was still like one of the best exactly exactly so. so yeah so so basically they give you happy monk you're like mm-hmm. oh my gosh he can still be a great detective and then Two seconds later, you see Trudy come back yep. from the dead. Okay, well, that's short-lived. Yeah. And so all these happy scenes that you see, you're happy that you're seeing it, but then you're like, I know this is about to yeah. just blow up. So yeah. you can't you can't even, like, enjoy the happiness. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. That's, I didn't really like that either. I also didn't like the, the scene where Trudy kills Zach. Mm-hmm. It came across as cringy like it was i i think it was bad acting and bad camera work all around like okay. it was like weirdly shot from a blow or something he was like taking forever to fall yeah i he, think like, yeah i think it was like they had the camera panned on both of them and then to show obviously that he was about to fall on it, that thing yeah. and be impaled it was like they from flipped that. the camera around really fast and then you're like exactly what you said he's like oh yeah all super old man fall like yes, super, I yeah, hated right, that. Super old man fall. It's like 30 seconds later. Like, oh, I'm about to touch it. <laughs> uh, True. Uh, I definitely can see that. And I didn't know. I just put Randy on it as well. I don't know why. <laughs> Dislikes. Oh, it may be to have to do with the fact that he was kept saying, I'm the man. I'm the man. Oh, and yeah. All the stupid oh, that's stuff. Been yeah. Bad. That's, yeah. I'm sure that's mm-hmm. what it was. So my last thing that I didn't like was Angry Trudy. And again, air quotes, Trudy, it's not really Trudy, but um, I, but d- as soon as we see her, like when Natalie sees her in the diner, 
she's mm-hmm. like angry. She, I mean, she's like trying to get that key oh, from the yeah, old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so again, any glimpse of hope that you have that it is Trudy, you're like, gosh, he's mean though. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't like her. I don't. And especially Monk is doing great without her now. And then all of a sudden she, she comes back. She comes back and she's bad. She sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. So the little glimpse of hope where you could be happy, you can't be. Yeah. Because be, you're like, okay, but she's mean. Because so normally it'd her. be like, oh my gosh, Trudy's back. And then now it's like, uh, Trudy's a jerk. And yeah. Like, All right. So. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so um, I think that we should transition into the next. Um. So he's the guy. Okay, he's right. the guy. Did you did you recognize any actors from this? I did not okay. recognize anything. Yeah. I thought that I recognized the African American man that was helping them in uh, Janice's office. I thought I recognized him for a minute. Wait, where? And remember whenever Monk and Natalie and they go into Janice's office. Yeah. yeah. Tr- Janice and Trudy's old office in the newspaper. Yes. And then there's the African American guy who's helping them. Oh, okay. You probably didn't notice because you didn't, you didn't, I rec, I thought I recognized him, but I didn't look it up because I did notice somebody else Mm -hmm. and it was Jack Bollinger, who's the criminal. So his name, I did have to look up his real name because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. His name is Kevin Kilner and I recognized him from an episode of Frasier, actually. So in the episode of Frasier, it's where Roz is trying to figure out the, the, (laughs) she's, she's pregnant with some like college age kids baby and then she's meeting the her baby daddy's parents and he is that guy oh. and him and his wife have ginormous noses and yeah. so Roz is freaking out because she's like oh my gosh my, my... Be... exactly okay. so i recognized him but he did not have the fake plastic nose on yeah. this time so that was it that's cool that's my um, that's my little so yeah let's just segue the a little bit of a plot, plot holes. holes. Okay, so did did you have any plot holes? I thought it was like a bit too convenient. I mean, it could it's like I, I guess the show was kind of going for like a spiritual vibe, you know, when he's like, "Oh, I really just like it stuck with me today." In the in the first scene, when he's at the therapist. <gasps> oh, okay. we're okay. So we're Monk and Doctor Kroger are talking, and he's talking about the poem. Is that what you're oh, talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this, Trudy... this really stuck out to me, and I think Trudy's telling me to let go. And I just thought it was a bit too convenient that, like, Monk accepts Trudy's death, and as soon as he does, it's like, yeah. Trudy's back. Oh, yeah. I yeah. didn't like that yeah. very much. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with that. I mean, again, it's, it's the premise of the episode, it's what the episode's about. Yeah. But they didn't have to, they literally did not have to add that section. Yeah. They didn't have to add that no, no, no. Monk was over Trudy. That yeah. was so, yeah. like, exactly. How convenient that mm-hmm. Monk is over Trudy. When is Monk going to ever be over Trudy? I know. Never. That's, yeah. That was, that was forced. I will definitely agree. Very forced in my opinion. Yeah. So I, ha- this is, this is probably not a plot hole, to be honest, but the, that thing, I called it a letter opener, but it's not a letter opener. It's the thing that Ellinghouse dies oh, yeah. on. It's for post-its, like when you're How done with a post-it or something. That thing? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was going to say. It was, it was like, like, well, it was more like a small sword. I yeah. thought, <laughs> can you die from one of those? Yeah. Like, can you? And if you can't, like, that's my plot hole. Can you actually die from one of those impaling you? Like, is it that sharp? Like, you got, like you got, got stabs got through paper. Punctured but, in, the, in the chest. I mean, I guess if the... you can stab someone with scissors, then you could stab somebody with a long, sharp pole. Okay, so Kiss. maybe you can. Maybe you can die from that, but I'm thinking yeah. if so, that seems very dangerous. And who would invent that exactly. long mini sword that you put on your desk? This is why we have post-it notes. The- so we just stick them. We just stick that's them. What they, they take the post-it notes and then they stick them on. Yeah. Stick, you, like, how do people not stab right themselves in the hand when exactly. they're coming down on them? If you have one of those in your household, get it out. Get it Keep out. Keep away from children and yourself because you never know. Or, fake, or fake figure wife, out who like, made it and you. sue them. Yes, exactly. Like, right? Yeah. Are Soon we going to become we... rich by suing this company? Okay, so let's buy one. And then... <laughs> And then, and then we gotta we have to reenact the scene. So how about I push you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, 
I was thinking the other way. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, well, Natalie's always the victim, so. Yeah, Natalie. We'll, yeah, yeah, we'll make Natalie do it. We'll push it. <laughs> or we could push Toby, right? We could Toby. Toby you'll be, are you cool with that? If you are not cool with it, speak up or forever yeah. hold your peace. <laughs> Toby's too scared to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're pushing Toby. So we're pushing Toby. Uh, bye, Toby. <laughs> All right, we got to get one first, but maybe maybe Amazon still has them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Of course, of course. Um, let's see. Did you have any other plot holes? Um, no, that's it. Um, okay. I do have, I do have a couple more. So I feel like the old man realistically would have just given her the key. He was all like protective about it. And greedy. He actually yeah, yeah. wanted her to give him money for oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. Ellinghouse was supposed to be like a nice old man. Yeah. And he didn't turn out to be a nice old man. He was like. Like he was being kind of stingy with the key. I thought. Like, I thought it was... At the beginning, wasn't he like, oh, you're such good friends with blah, 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 with uh, Jan- Janice. <laughs> Janice. <laughs> Janice. Janice, yes. You're such good friends with Janice, right? Exactly. Whatever. And Monk says that, too. Oh, Zach Ellinghouse, I know yeah, him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, he's mean. Like, yeah. he's, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I guess he was protective of his daughter's stuff. Yeah. But I felt like, realistically, if someone had come back from the dead for those papers, that you would be yeah. like... Oh my gosh, sure, yeah, for your protection, I'll give you this key. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, let's see. I felt like maybe another thing would be that the criminal, was that realistic that he knew that much about Trudy? Oh, like, yeah. Like, that was weird. Maybe the cinnamon stick thing in in the tea or the, the coffee, just sweeten the coffee. If we're going out for a meeting, if we're sitting there, we have, you know, we have coffee and you, you would say, oh, it's a cinnamon stick, right? Yeah. But Oh, you're allergic to you're fish. You're allergic to fish, yeah. Okay. That I thought weird. that... that okay, so I'm not the only one. That but, was, yeah, that okay. was really weird that he knew how to perfectly impersonate Trudy. Exactly. Yeah. Like, knew everything about her. Yeah. And how come that lady just kind of really, really, really looked like Trudy? Like, he just found her <laughs> doppelganger and was like, put on this wig. <laughs> it could have just been me. Okay, so, okay, so here's the thing. I've listened again to Will and Keiko's entire series, right? Yes, right. Their absolute biggest thing that they hate about Monk is what they call face-off. Okay. Okay, so there's two other episodes before this where the premise of the crime is that the people... uh, Look like other people? Exactly. Oh, this man kills his wife, and then before they get on the airplane, and then on the airplane, the lady's actually not his wife because they killed the wife before, and so the his new mistress looks just like his wife. Face oh, off. That's lame. <laughs> and there, and I don't, I don't actually know what face off means. They've admitted that they kind of don't really either. I think, or yeah. that they're using it wrong. I guess I should say. But there's that one, and then there's another one where they go to Las Vegas, and this lady's gets tangled up in her scarf and her uh-huh. scarf chokes her and then the how they did it was the the lady that looks like her looks mm-hmm. just like her comes down through the elevator top and pre- it pretends to be her after she's already dead and then uh-huh. goes back up jumps back up the thing and then leaves her body to be discovered so that was two episodes where a face-off happens yeah this has got to be the most epic face-off ever. Yeah. Right? Because in the other ones, true. you could probably imply that that those two ladies had surgery. Like, oh, yeah, Just yeah, based yeah. off of that. This one... This lady did not want to do it. She just wanted Well, but to she's an it. actress. Oh, yeah, she was an actress, yeah. Right? You know what I mean? So it's like she's an actress, and we're supposed to believe that this just random actress... Looked exactly like Trudy. Face off. Face off. Will and Keiko would absolutely be ripping this to shreds right now. So, <laughs> and okay, so my final one is just a small one, maybe. So when Monk goes and runs into the storage unit yeah. after her, and Natalie's trying to stop him, like, no, it's not her, it's not her. He's like, but I have to see, and he goes into the storage unit. Why yeah. didn't she go with him? Was it explained? I don't, I mean, I guess, like, personal space, like, that's your fake dead wife, you know? <laughs> it's it kind of personal. I, um, I can, I guess, but also that guy was obviously in on it. Because she, they both saw the guy run in there, too. Oh. The evil guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Natalie should have went to protect her. I don't know, maybe she was just calling the captain and Disher, and so she, Oh, that's... yeah, yeah, she was like, oh, they're in there. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. That was my last one. All right. That was my last uh, one. Yeah. How, How crazy was Monk, Monk this episode? episode? All right. How, okay. Uh, should we, like, list off the moments first? Um, 
like yeah i guess we can yeah yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that okay so let's go back and forth um i i'm like 90 percent sure you wrote this down too okay okay? i'm sure so right on time like at the very beginning where he's like (laughs) he's like it's it's two it was two (laughs) yes two p.m he's like it's two come on let me in (laughs) as soon as the he's watching the clock tick tick (laughs) And then he stands up and he's like, is Dr. Kroger ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wrote that down in two seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I put, gets antsy when Dr. Kroger is one minute late. Yep. yep. Okay, so what else? Oh, he's whispering about the toothbrush Natalie got him. I got you the toothbrush. Are you sure it's the right one? And she's like, yes, it's the right one. And then he's like, the Gurgler 4000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. why oh, is he whispering? As I just put that as a little crazy. Why is that in there? <laughs> yeah, I put that as a little note there. Mm-hmm. I only have one more. Oh, okay. and it's like the the one scene that we've already talked about where he's at the cemetery. Oh, okay, and yeah. He's like, oh, everyone here's dead. Your husband's dead. I, I just that was funny. I love that. Yeah, I put the. Uh, also, we've talked about this. The fixing the potatoes when he says he's gonna let it go. Oh he yeah, yeah. Let it go. Um, let's see. Yep, telling the lady that her husband's still dead mm-hmm. in the grave. Okay, <laughs> and then. Okay, let me do the sad one first because I like to finish with the funny stuff. Okay. okay, so when he when he figures out that Trudy is alive, and then he runs outside and he starts touching the poles back and forth, and he's trying oh, to make them even, yeah. and he's like tap 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 on the, that and then really it keeps sad. going. That was really sad. So I, sad. I mean, that was like an actual crazy monk episode where he was having a mental breakdown. So yeah. let's move on. <laughs> and then okay, so then the last one is whenever he recounts the only time he's ever spilt anything. Oh yeah. And he says the date of it and Natalie's like, Are you talking about the day of the earthquake? <laughs> he's, he's like, like they count. earthquakes count. <laughs> <laughs> he's so funny. So that was um <clears throat> that was my that was my last little list of crazy monks. So, what what do you think as out of ten what? A ten mm-hmm. out of ten fake wives. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say out of ten Trudy cinnamon sticks. Trudy sticks. <laughs> I like yours better. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so out of ten Trudy, Trudy cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, sticks, what did you? I, I mean, mean I, 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 okay, I'll go first. Go, I'll go first. Okay. okay. Out of ten, uh, Trudy seven six, I have. I'm gonna change this, cause there's actually way more. I put four out of ten, but I'm gonna go with a seven out of ten. Oh wow, that's a drastic change there. That what is a drastic change. What's that for? Um, cause I I guess I didn't really factor in. Like I I put it, but I I don't. I didn't like I put it on my paper right the whole cemetery scene, but I guess I didn't factor that in, cause that that's like that's at least two points. <laughs> So, and then, and then all the stuff that you said. Probably did. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah. So, so it does make sense if you only had a couple crazies and then I reminded you of the rest of the crazies yeah. that you're like, yeah, he was pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, okay, wait, actually, five out of ten. Uh, Trudy Cinnamon Six. That's my final answer. Okay. Five out of ten. That's so we went four, seven, <laughs> and we're settling on five. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to have to cut him off because he's going to go to six, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually going to say four Trudy cinnamon sticks. I'm going to go with four. That's okay, fine. so we show, sure. or they <laughs> they show us that he gets better, right? If he had literally stayed at that level, it would have been like a zero or a one. But then we see Trudy comes back back from the dead Mm -hmm. and his obviously his crazy jumps to an extreme where he's having a like a mental breakdown yeah but then really he i think he recovers a little really well you know because once he figures out you know what it's not her uh, i love her but i'm glad she's dead is basically what he was (laughs) saying that i'm i'm glad it's not her is what he was saying so i gave him a four because i feel like he went from a one to a Nine, a seven. and then, <laughs> but then he recovered. I thought he recovered really well, so I gave him four Trudy cinnamon sticks. All right. Um. So, how would you rate this episode? Um. Okay. So you go first because I have a fancy little rating oh, system. Yo. Don't look at my papers. He's I... looking at my papers. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go with an eight out of ten. I just thought it was it was a lot better because I've only seen, uh. A, some a long time ago, like a year ago, mm-hmm. right? I seen those, which I don't really know a lot about, but 
I've also only seen the pilot and season four, episode one. Mm-hmm. And compared to those, I think this was really good. Yeah, the pilot, you, de- you definitely came in on a good one. It was better than the pilot, and it was definitely better than the other detective. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I definitely would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. The other detective, season four, episode two, episode one, was just, it was bland, yeah. in my opinion. Okay. This one was really mm-hmm. powerful. I'll, I'll, have to, I I'll have to refresh on that one, but yeah, I definitely, I definitely know the episode, so I definitely agree that it's, it is better than both of those. Yeah, but no. So is that is that your? That's you my good? final answer. Okay, all right. So what was it again? I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. It was a oh an eight an eight. Oh, it's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so y'all ready for my crazy my? This is my monk crazy rating scale. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna pull a Keiko. Right, she doesn't go on her. How crazy was Monk? She never went anywhere under a six. Mm-hmm. She's like, well, Monk's always crazy. He's Monk. So we're going to have him at a six, right? Mm-hmm. Which I have a feeling she would have gone down on this one also. Yeah. Just again, right? Um, but I'm going to do, because Monk's favorite number is 10. Mm-hmm. And he likes things even. Mm-hmm. And I'm such a super fan that I think all Monk episodes deserve a 10, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start my scale at 10. And it's going to go all the way up to... Uh, like a 10.9 and if it's a perfect episode it's going to get two tens because monk would not like even two 11 tens. no because monk <laughs> would be like oh but i don't want an 11 i'd rather have two tens uh, okay. 10.10 <laughs> okay right well 10.10 is actually 10.1 well, yeah because i thought i thought of that i was like oh 10.10 and i was like no wait, that makes no sense 10 so, point yeah. I've, I've thought it through i've thought it through <laughs> okay okay, <laughs> okay. Then, yeah okay all right so Dude, drum tense. roll yes. oh we should we should insert drum we roll. should insert drum insert, roll. insert drum roll we could. okay wait it's gonna take uh, it's, it's gonna, gonna take, take some to- time. it's gonna take toby a it's long time okay so toby oh, toby's gonna find toby's that kind of dumb. and Andrew. So we're going to insert drum roll right come here. On, come on, Toby. Hey, Toby. Toby, hurry up. Uh, you know how he is. You know. You know Toby's Toby. the Toby's the worst. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that Toby's that the worst. That was too loud. Oh, I'm sorry. That was way too loud. Okay, so you distract Toby while I say how amazing he is for everyone. Toby, you're so... so aw- guys, everyone, okay. Toby's so cool. I, he is cool. Toby so, is yeah. so... Toby's the worst. Toby's so cool. Sucks. Hey, you're supposed to be distracting him. Oh, you can't be saying hey, Toby, Toby sucks. You're, you're awesome. Okay, Toby, that was literally Toby. Oh. That is, you think that's it? Wow, Toby. Toby, Toby stop. Okay, well so, we're okay. giving up. On All that. right, some things never change, people. <laughs> you know, it says they they. It's like this monk episode. Like, yeah. you think monk's gonna be happy? You think Toby's gonna do something yeah. good? And then he just drops and the ball. And then he just sucks as usual. You know? Okay. All right. So I'm going to just go ahead with this then. All right. So I'm going to give this episode a 10.9. I said it, people. 10.9. So basically basically a 9 out of 10. (laughs) As Monk would say, here's the thing. No. (laughs) Not, okay. This sounds a little weird. So not, maybe not personally as far as the, um... Not the plot, but I guess like the premise of the show that Trudy returns, right? But the quality of this episode was so high. Like again, yeah. Noah has yeah. barely seen any episodes and he comes in and gives it a straight eight, mm-hmm. right? Because you can just tell by watching it, it how good. how good it was, right? Yeah. So I I feel like um, I'm giving it a nine based on the acting, based on uh, in the feel of the episode. It is sad, but you're in it. You're in the monk verse when you're watching it. Yeah. But for I'm gonna give an actual one, like not a ten point one, an actual one to the writers or whoever's idea it was to bring Trudy back from the dead. Because yes. I want to slap them, so they get a one. They That's, get a one. Okay. Yeah. I I think it's a little. I just thought it was a little. What's that called when you like to torture people? You know Ooh. that. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I don't understand. Why you would think? Oh yeah, just like in the middle of the se- no. at the ep- the series height. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that, you, that you just hey, let's bring her back. Yeah, nope, she's really dead. No. <laughs> I don't know. That was tough. The writers get a one from me. So um, uh yeah, uh Toby, to- he look, he's he's saying he found it. He's he's whispering because he's you know podcast shy. Uh, so you know, here's the drum roll. Drum roll. That's that's a machine gun, Toby. <laughs> so machine, Toby. Wow. Toby, drum roll. 
Sure. Okay. So that's that's gonna be it, you guys. Okay, I think so. I I think this was actually a pretty good, solid episode. I don't mm-hmm. I don't know about you, but I mean, for a first one, yeah, like, we had maybe like a little bit of bump. Oh, let me excuse you. Let me tap some gluten free Oreo. <laughs> Oh, it's was stale. I love, I love it. I already finished my soda. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago. Oh, but that's good. At least you actually had I, yours I actually, during the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, you just enjoy them. You're so good at that. You have no clue how stale this Oreo is. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, off-brand America's Cookie. Off-brand okay. America's <laughs> Cookie. Okay, so I actually, personal note, I love stale cookies. What? I, yeah, right? You've never said that before. Uh, well, it's <laughs> the truth, because I don't like to admit it, because then people think I'm monk you crazy. You are monk crazy. But <laughs> I don't, I cook, okay, well, hear me out. Okay. I like to dunk Oreos, <laughs> I mean, you know, beep, you into know, like, milk, right? Uh, okay, when which milk. makes them soggy, right? Mm-hmm. So when Oreos come out, I mean, beep, they, or Chips Ahoy, I mean, beep, they are harder right so i like when they get stale they actually soften up and they're more like the ones that you pay twice the amount for where they're like oh look at these chewy cookies yeah. and you're like uh it's called open the bag leave it for a week and come back to perfection <laughs> it's disgusting it's disgusting it is a little oh my gosh. stale oreos like better than milk Oh no 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 no! Milk. I mean, a milk milk is the way to go. Okay, okay. So yeah, if, yeah. if you're stuck in a car, no milk because you're in a car. Uh, you, all you have is Oreos, and off brand Oreos. Yeah, it just has to be a really really long road trip, and then you open the bag and make them stale. Or are you asking if I like Oreos no, like, or store bought? Like <laughs> I mean, store brand. Would you you like them stale without Oreos? Okay, wait, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I know what Wait, hello. Hello, Mike. Oh my gosh, Mike down. This is so bad. Okay. All right, so I think we're going to end it right here because that it's getting it's getting too real. It's okay? getting so All right, real. so give us can you give us an outro, Toby? Just uh Toby, just, just give us literally anything. Ready? That's not a machine Toby, gun. Anything not a machine gun. All right, good job, Toby. All good right. job, Toby. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Okay, good job. So, thank you. <laughs> Toby. Okay, let's just cut Okay, it. okay, Toby. Just, Toby, get out. Toby, get out. Just turn it off. Okay. <laughs>